Hi guys, welcome back to Sister Summer. I just woke up a little bit ago. I'm hanging out with the dogs. <laughs> They're all in here with me because it's freaking pouring cats and dogs right now. Check this out. Look how much it's raining when the rain is like moving down there. That's wild. So it's thundering and stuff. So it's very loud. I'm not right now, but the doggies get a little scared. I think they all just wanted to hang out. And it's just me home alone with them right now. My mom's at work, my dad's at work. Cause Squirtle, you gotta do that on camera, man. Come on. <laughs> I think Tika was the most scared. She was like pounding on my door. My little burrito woman. <laughs> Look, his paws are like buried under himself. He looks like a hen. That's what Tika does sometimes. Oh, he's like, wait, mom, um, I want to be on camera. I'm really cute. Look at me. <laughs> but I'm just going to lie in bed and hang out with these guys. I have been reading comments on my last vlog and getting um, this question on some other vlogs as well and I haven't addressed it yet so I thought it was time to address it because I haven't said anything about it because um, I've been just dealing with my own stuff lately but um, this is the time to tell you guys about it so um, I'm just going to be real with you guys and be really honest with you guys and I hope that you guys can um, respect my privacy. The question is are you and Michael still together and the answer is no. This ended up happening very close to me introducing Michael to um, you guys which is unfortunate just in the sense that like we had been dating since January, but I just hadn't had him on camera until June. I've never shown you guys like someone that um, I've been dating or that I've like been like romantically involved with ever besides Michael. I wanted to be really, really ready before I did that. Hold on, let me get some water. My voice is like kind of raspy right now just because I woke up a little bit ago and because I'm still sick. So sorry if it's like annoying and like robot-y a little bit just gonna be okay i just want you guys to know like an explanation for all of this because you know it's kind of like oh my gosh you just started showing your boyfriend like a month ago on vlogs and you guys aren't even together anymore like what the hell Lindsay? i didn't show michael on the vlogs until june because i wanted to be really really ready to and also i mean this summer was the first time that we were actually like together for more than like a three day period when we would visit each other and i didn't really vlog those times with respect to like my privacy and michael's privacy um i decided to end things and i it all happened very, very quickly. It wasn't something that I was thinking about for a long time at all. Um, it was kind of unexpected, but at the same time, I really, really have found myself in these past couple months. I think in the past two months, even just since I've been home, um, I have really, really found like a lot more of myself and a lot more of what I need and also with that being said what is fair to another person at this point in my life i just felt like i didn't want to be in a serious relationship um that we're living on complete opposite sides of the country and it's a lot more than that the distance wasn't the thing with me and michael that like was really really um hard there was actually nothing that was really hard we had an amazing relationship he's an incredible person and um i don't know if he'll be watching I feel be watching this but if he is um michael was like the first person that i was ever in love with that i ever fell for and i also think that's why it's like my first real boyfriend honestly even though i'm like 21 that might sound like what but like he was my first like real actual boyfriend and um he's the first person that i really fell in love with and i think that takes over you right i get very very like attached and um very like obsessed with the people that i really like um i mean michael and i were obsessed with each other we didn't have an unhealthy relationship but we would literally talk 24 7 all the t time i think it took over a lot of like parts of my life but i didn't care and i didn't realize well i think i realized but i think i just let it happen and i didn't care because my relationship was like the most important thing in my life for you know like those few months i'm 21 years old and there's so much that i want to like do and 
just be able to make connections with people. It's hard to explain it because I didn't know what I was going to say before I turned on the camera and like filmed this clip. I just knew like I was going to address it. It's basically all a thing with me. This was all like one-sided, like Michael is so incredible. Things ended like I would say on a pretty, on a pretty good note. Obviously like time is needed and space is needed, but Michael is always going to be like my best friend, I hope. And um, I really do think since we had, we had a friendship before we had a relationship. So I think that's good. And I think that that can like take us through a lot of things because we have the same friend group here. I learned a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I know it's like silly that I showed you guys my, my relationship. And then like a couple weeks later, we're not together anymore, but that was complete, like how that happened was just completely unexpected. So that's like another reason maybe I've been a little bit off or just kind of lazy and hanging out in my house and not like going out and hanging out with Michael or whatever the past uh, couple weeks. But um, like I said, this was my decision and I did this for me and Michael's happiness. Just really, really doing a lot of deep thought with myself and what I want and the type of person that I have become and that I know that I am. I am not gonna sit here and say that Michael and I like won't be together in the future. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the future holds. If we're meant to be together, we'll be together. And um, this is just like what I wanted to let you guys know because I do think you guys deserve to know and you guys have been wondering where he is. So um, I want to say to you guys, this has been a really long clip. This is going to take up like the whole freaking vlog. I'll probably call the vlog like real talk or like, I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be dramatic and call the vlog. We broke up. Um, even though that would like get the message across, but I'm not trying to be like real dramatic and shit. So... <laughs> That clickbait though to you guys. I just want to say first of all, thank you for listening second of all Thank you for um, hopefully understanding and not judging me also if you guys could just respect my privacy and um, Because this was this was the one thing that I was nervous about with sharing my relationship was that if it ended um, because I've seen so many well, this is like long relationships like he, like you know the person and their boyfriend or girlfriend so well like they've been online so much and then like it ends and then people just ask all these questions and like might start like taking sides or assuming things or just getting really into it like what happened so I hope you, I gave you guys a decent enough explanation and that you can respect that like I'm being completely open and honest with you please just respect my privacy I don't want to like see obviously on this vlog like it's fine but I really don't want to see like a ton of comments on future vlogs like asking about Michael or trying to like assume anything about our relationship or I don't know basically if you guys see someone asking in future vlogs about Michael if you guys could just kindly like comment back to that person like in a very like kind rational way like um they're not together anymore you can go to this vlog whatever I end up calling this vlog to like hear her talk about it like that would be so nice of you guys because I know I'm gonna get comments like that and I just don't want to like have to address this for so long so I would I just hope that we can just like direct people back to this vlog in just like a nice calm way because that was my only thing like honestly a fear that I had about sharing my relationship was that like people were gonna get very um involved in it in a in a, a way that like is people assuming they know like about the relationship or like just trying to like really get in it when um you when you don't really know so i don't mean that i really don't mean that in a rude way that's just like a fear that i have because i've seen so much of that on youtube with other people's relationships anyway this clip is way too long i'm going to leave thank you guys for listening i fucking love you i'm glad i talked about that really glad <laughs> Look at my face. My face is like the color of the walls in here. <laughs> They're a little more gray. 
but I'm doing a face mask now. Ah, oh, this is my favorite freaking mask. I think I talked to you guys. No, I have. I freaking vlogged when I did this mask like last week. I was running out of all of my Tula stuff at the same time, and um, Emily kindly sent me some new goodies. So these are my babies. I got a new hydrating day and night cream, which is probably my favorite product. This is absolutely incredible. It's the perfect moisturizer for nighttime day. It's just like, it feels so good on your skin. And this jar lasts so, so, so long. And then the purifying face cleanser. I used this before my mask. This is a lot of product again. This is like almost seven ounces. It's like a very big cleanser last so long and then this is the illuminating face serum which i've always just had travel size of these and it's like this small so this is super exciting again it's like pretty large honestly like compared to my hands like that is a good size for a serum so i'm really excited that i have a big one of these now because now i can use it like day and night and not be like worried about using it too quickly and then the mask that i have on right now is the exfoliating treatment mask which is the blue amazing mask i love it i don't know if you'll be able to tell this is really close up but it has little like beads yeah you can tell it has little like beads that give it like texture this feels so freaking good i'm about to do this wash it off and then edit my last vlog um which i'm getting up like a day late that should have gone up yesterday so i'm probably gonna edit that vlog and then like start editing this vlog so i can get just back on schedule even though this doesn't have to go up until tomorrow but whatever i just like want to get some stuff done <laughs> look at me hi guys i look bald i have a bun um i am at my kitchen counter i've been trying to upload my last vlog um for like two hours now and this is like something really annoying that happens sometimes with my videos and i don't even notice like there's no warning that it happens like my v video was basically f seven minutes long and it uploaded and it only uploaded four minutes of it and it was probably up for like 20 something minutes um and i didn't notice <laughs> at all and then um i was like oh this has a lot of dislikes and then i started reading the comments and i was like oh my gosh it did that thing that it does sometimes where it just cuts off your video when you post it it happens maybe like one in 20 times that i upload maybe less than that it does not happen a lot but um, it's very frustrating. So if you guys ever like come across one of my vlogs when it's first uploaded and it cuts off like just and it's like me, I didn't say goodbye or anything. Um, and that's what happened. <laughs> so um, just let me know by leaving a comment or by tweeting me. And I, I mean, I always notice eventually. Um, it's just annoying because then I have to like delete the video and then you guys are like, where did the vlog go? And you guys are confused and then I have to re-upload. But the issue is I have tried to re-upload it twice now and it still is cutting off. Um, it did it at four minutes again and I did it at five minutes. And I don't know why, maybe it's because I don't have enough memory to export the whole thing on my computer, but I think I got it right this time. This is the fourth try of uploading. <sighs> Anyway, it was just kind of frustrating because I just wanted to get this up, but yeah. Um, it's almost freaking 6 p.m. Uh, after this, I need to take a shower. I really want to go to a coffee shop. I don't think I've drinking coffee in like two weeks. I don't, maybe longer. I don't remember the last coffee I drank. I want to get a gigantic iced coffee and just like shove it down my esophagus. <laughs> um, and then I just, I don't even know. Today's a really off day for myself, I think. I was reading some of you guys' comments on... I keep wanting to say my last vlog. Like I said that in the clip where I was talking about, oh, I was reading you guys' comments on my last vlog, but that's only because I haven't uploaded the vlog that I'm that is going to be my last vlog when you guys see this one yet. So the vlog I mean is my vlog um, called Why Am I Like This from <laughs> last weekend, and then the 4th of July vlog, and then this vlog. Um, anyway, uh, so much. But I was reading some of the comments on that one and um, some of you guys were like concerned about me and asking about me because I was talking about being like un unmotivated with filming and everything like that. Um, but honestly, I, I am doing really well. I'm doing fine. I'm just going through like I have been going through a lot of changes this month and um, I'm also on my period right now. So like <laughs> it's like the first day of my period. And so those days are always like low energy. Like bleh. I just kind of feel not like up to myself but um i appreciate that you guys are like worried about me 
just want to make sure that I'm always okay and stuff like that and um, I think I just like to be really really honest with you guys so I like to always tell you guys what's going on in my head like the clip that I filmed earlier um, just so you guys can know like maybe why I'm like freaking acting different like I'm not intending to it's just like you know when you just have a lot going on and I'm just really really I feel like I'm ready to leave here and go back to LA with a fresh start um, I feel like I'm leaving a lot of things here that I need to leave here and I am really ready to go back and see my friends and just be in my apartment and be on my own again so I go back Saturday yeah I actually left my house for the first time in like a really long time <laughs> um, I'm going to get an iced coffee from Dunkin Donuts it's like Lightninging in the sky right now like shit. I don't know if any will any will occur, but it is I swear It feels good to get out and be driving for a sec You know when you feel like an asshole for going to a place like three minutes before it closes But you're like eh, but like your hours are till 10 so like I did look it up on Yelp Um, I was just gonna go to Starbucks, but then I was like Dunkin Donuts. I have a gift card so Got that shit for free. I've had the gift card for so long too. Like I think I've had it since Christmas and I've forgotten to use it. But came in clutch. I got a giant iced coffee. This is honestly everything I could want, except I think I put a little bit too much sugar in it, which I regret. Um, do you guys that are like coffee fiends like cream more or like milk? Or um sugar more or do you drink it black because like I personally like to do a little bit more cream or milk sometimes I'll do like I usually do soy milk if they have it I don't think Dunkin Donuts has that so I just do like the little creams um I like cream more than like sugar I'll usually just do one sugar and like two creams I don't know why I care about like <laughs> you guys I just want to know my mom drinks coffee black I don't know if I could do that I think I could do without sugar but I like like to have I like like something I want to say I was editing my vlog earlier today and I had to edit out so many likes in one part and I still said like so many times so I want to apologize honestly not only to myself but to you guys because um, that is so annoying and I really wish the words like and literally were not in my vocabulary at all But they're such stupid silly words that I say so much Anyway, I'm gonna leave this Dunkin Donuts because I think this dude is like bitch get the fuck out So I'm gonna go home. It is the next day now. It's Thursday and I just wanted to end off the vlog um, Didn't end up finishing it off last night. I went over to my friend's house and I stayed the night so yeah, I didn't bring my camera with me, but I did get a lot of, I think I got like a large amount of footage yesterday, at least just a lot of talking clips. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I, um, this was a, this was a personal one, this is a deep one, but this vlog needed to happen because I've been getting so many questions. Hope you guys enjoyed, give this vlog a thumbs up if you liked it, and I love you guys so much, and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, and I really hope that every one of you knows that you watching right now. I absolutely love and appreciate you. Even if you're a secret hater, I still love you for tuning in and seeing what I'm up to. I will see you guys in the next vlog very soon.